Okay guys, for this video is I want to share how we can control four relay we're going to use ESP32 with uh, Bluetooth. So this ESP32, this is a built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, but this video is we are going to use a, a built-in Bluetooth and we're going to control four pieces of the relay, which will be 5 relay board and of course we need to have the jumper wire which is a male to female so the female side we connect to these pins over here so crown in one in two in three in four and vcc so vcc is a 5 volt it's green color and the crown is negative crown and this four is for the relay one relay two relay three relay four so of course we need to have the 5 volt power supply to make it on for this board. So I'm going to use a 5 volt power supply which will be used for I'm going to use for this is from the charger. So I just use a one USB charger which is for handphone any brand you can use. Okay? Then I have this USB charger and I got one USB cable and I cut it off so I will take it one positive and one negative to make it power on for relay board and this connect to power source and which I'm going to use for later so first of all we're going to upload the code so this ESP32 when you use ESP32 with a USB cable and maybe you use micro USB cable or your ESP may be uh, type C and you can use any any brand or any, any model then the code will be the same you can apply this code that will be very simple and I will just make it to control for relay I'm going to use for the handphone mobile so a relay 1 on relay 2 relay 3 relay 4 and which will be 1 2 3 4 and uh, off will be A, B, C, D. So I'm going to uh, write the code and we upload. So this ESP32. So the bot is already powered on. So make sure that you watch my previous video how to set up ESP32 using Arduino IDE because we need to have a little bit change to be able to use ESP32 on Arduino IDE. So I already write the code. This is a very simple and a four channel relay code. Uh, this is a four channel relay code with ESP32. Uh, this is not for the Bluetooth. I'm going to open the other code. Okay, my recently opened. Okay, I'm going to use this. My first one, this is without a Bluetooth. This is I'm going to turn off. I'm going to close. And here, uh, this is the one that we make it uh, on off the relay, which be for China. And so include serial dot H. This is the header file for the Bluetooth, and we give the name uh, Bluetooth serial. So serial dot begin, and this is the relay, uh, the Bluetooth name we're going to see in our handphone. We need to pair with this name ESP32 relay. So we have relay one two three four. Now first we need to pair Bluetooth. Okay, all these are uh, just make it on off. Very simple code. So uh, remember that this is switch. Uh, we use the switch function. So uh, case one. Once you send one, then the relay one is on. Once you send two, the relay two is on. Three, three. 4 is relay 4. So ABCD will represent 4 off. So 1, 2, 3 is 4 on. 
So uh, okay, we make sure that you select the right port. You are using ESP32. My model is DevKey V1, and okay, just make sure that the port com. Okay, you can select anyone. I'm going to select this com seven, and we're going to upload. When you press the upload, then you need to press the boot button on ESP32 bot, otherwise your upload will be failed. So I'm going to press the boot button here while uploading the code. So you can see there's a connecting there. Now upload the code. And you see done upload. You need to keep press the boot button. Okay, now we can release the boot button. So now done upload. Okay, then uh, this time we're gonna go back to the handphone here so from the handphone here we need to go to the play store and get to Syria Bluetooth okay we're gonna install this Syria Bluetooth terminal and I already installed then just open so once you already open it up here you are going to see in the device so before you press device we need to press the boot uh, EN button enable button then you can press the device and here bluetooth classic of course we need to open the bluetooth in case if you haven't opened the bluetooth here then you need bluetooth then you need to pair with your esp32 and i already paired this then just go back to uh, serial bluetooth and here select your esp32 relay and then here we can see connected so connect that before you press number one, two, three. Then we need to set up. We need to connect the jumper wire to ESP32 to relay. So here we're going to use a mini breadboard that is a very small one. Otherwise, <coughs> so. Relay one, relay one. We connect to digital pin number twenty five. So that is according to your code. So this the pin number twenty five. Relay one, relay two is pin number twenty six. Relay three is twenty seven and relay four is this the pin number fourteen and here we have VCC for five oh and a crown is a crown so we cannot directly connect crown to a uh, triple three volt because this VCC is for the five volt relay we use in five volt so ESP thirty two it does not have any 5 volt output. There is a 3.3 volt, but this 3.3 volt will not enough to make it the relay board to on. So we need to have an extra power supply, which I use for here 5 volt. So this 5 volt positive, 5 volt positive we connect to a VCC here, and the 5 volt negative we connect to the ground here. So VCC and the ground, then we turn on the power. And we still cannot uh, make it turn on yet. So, to be able to connect uh, to transfer the signal, we need to have the ground wire from the 5 volt. So, 5 volt ground, we have to connect. 5 volt ground need to connect to. So, this 5 volt ground need to connect to ESP32 ground. Right? So the wire is complete, the power is on, and 
let's check it back to our ESP32 okay so here the Bluetooth is connected and let me type 1 if I type 1 the relay will be turned on so if I type 2 the relay 2 will turn on if 3 relay 3 4 relay 4 if 5 nothing smooth because there is only 4 relay so to make it off we need to write A capital A is for relay 1 to off B relay 2 off C D right so this position you can make it on off the relay so I have a four light bar here which is 12 volt so one light two light and three light four light and here is the power so all the connection the relay you can use for both uh, AC and DC I'm using 12 volt light bar so I'm going to take a 12 volt power supply I'm just using for uh, 12 volt battery 12 volt positive Twelve positive we connect to. Oh, it's a lot. Twelve positive we connect to. Uh, red color here. The negative here. All right. So let's make it on off. Now it's off. And number one. All right. So one is on. If you send two, three, four, okay, so now we can turn off. Oh, my battery is low. So, anyway, uh, to make it turn on all this light, we need to have the full battery. My battery is already power low. So, even though the relay is on, but the light is not turning on anymore. So I will just off A B C D So this position you can make it on off for relay if you use A channel relay then uh, we need to edit the code inside So I hope this video will help for someone and thank you for watching my video